it's not good. There's no music. Did something happen to the music guy? It's playing. Oh wait, no it's not. Look. Oh wait. Why are we not popping up? We on? We're on. <laughs> Welcome back, Fez Collectors. A little technical difficulties this morning, but it's fine. And uh, hopefully everyone's having a nice Saturday. Are you having a good Saturday, Gray? No. No? Oh, no. Why not? I hate it when the live stream doesn't work right. Oh. <laughs> drives me crazy. <laughs> and uh, if you're new here, I'm Erin. Like, where the heck is even the who, who are you, Gray? I'm Greg. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And, uh, yeah, we're here to talk about Pez. And we have a lot of Pez packages to open as well. We got, it's not a huge, super big stack here, but there's one box that I cannot wait to get into. It's got some uh, harder to find crystal Pez in it, so that's going to be fun. And I don't know, other things Greg bought, and I bought another thing or two down there too. Nothing, nothing too fancy, but... When I was organizing my collection a couple weeks ago, I noticed that uh, I was missing a Pez, but I think that I have it on card. It's just I didn't have it open on the shelf, so I just bought another one for a couple bucks on eBay, which is fun to like add a add one to the collection. I just want to say that if you send Roxy <laughs> squeaky toys, you're going to be subjected to them on the live stream. So... <laughs> But she's got lots of squeaky toys around here. <laughs> if you hear weird squeaky noises, that's not Greg making squeaky noises. <laughs> All I'm saying is you've done it to yourself. That's really what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so what's on the, what are we talking about today? Oh, what, what, what's all on the agenda? I just said some stuff. You said one thing. Are you not listening? You said one thing about the boxes. We're going to unbox some stuff. And we yeah. have, uh... So we had a new release last week on Pez.com, which we're going to talk about. Yep. Sold out. So if, if you don't, if you didn't get it, then uh, you have to go to eBay or find it from someone else selling it. So hopefully you can find one if you want one. But we'll talk about here. Are you gonna, are you going to say hey to everybody? Eventually, I'm getting there. <laughs> I thought it would be nice to just kind of give people what was going on instead of jumping right into that. Yeah. So, yeah, look forward to that because I want to talk about it. And something else I got in the mail, and I made my video about it on Thursday. I want to talk about that, too, because it seems like it's a hot topic right now with the post collectors. A hot topic? A hot topic. A topic of hotness. Yes. Hot topic. That's probably the thing that I was going to talk about. So we'll see. Probably not. It's, we'll probably, it's probably something different. Oh, I don't think so. Do you want me to whisper to you? And then no. you can tell me if it's different and then we'll make the people guess what it is. Okay, let me just, I'm going to whisper to you. Huh? Yes. Yes? But a hot topic about? I mean, I don't know what you expect. <laughs> it's spicy. I'm not that. That's all I know. It's spicy and Pez better, uh... 
hopefully do something about it. Otherwise, they may not be selling these next time. <laughs> that is bull. That is complete <laughs> crap. I gotta make it even spicier, Gary. The, Stick you, around, you got, you'll find out. You can out. no longer <laughs> say the word spicy on the internet. I just want you oh. to know that what we are talking about is not spicy. Not spicy. Oh, it's just hot. Hot topic. It's a, it's a, it's a... Like your favorite store, Hot Topic. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. I need to get my, uh, my, um, spiked choker necklace. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ow! I just got bit. Roxy! She's like, oh, my toys squeak just like you do. Oh, she jumped up and bit me and, like, tore my finger. Look, it's... Is it bleeding? A little bit. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's fine. Ow. Roxy, I think your tooth got stuck in my finger. No, I don't think so. Good morning, Tom. Just in time for the crazies. Sunshine is here early. I hear about the Albon Sargent drama. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Must be a hot topic. What is that? I don't know what that is. If it's coming from Sunshine, it's probably F1. Look, I need to go wash <laughs> Oh my gosh, Roxy's already drawn blood. Okay, go uh, ahead. No, I'm going to miss out. And did you bring up a paper towel? I didn't. That's the one time I didn't do it. But they should have paper towels right there. Sunshine says she just finished making muffins. Are you not going to tell us what flavor of muffins? Apple cinnamon. <laughs> Sounds really good. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Don't, don't say hey. Just sit there and be quiet. Okay. I will expect some of these apple cinnamon muffins in, let's see, whatever the next pest convention that we all go to. I'm trying to figure that out still. I know that we're uh, lollygagging, um, but uh, we were talk we were ta we were thinking maybe just of uh, skipping them completely this year and going on some sort of like actual vacation because for years and years and years we spend our vacation time going to the pez conventions um well we did comic cons first and now we're then we did pet pez conventions am i gonna die look at my finger oh my gosh my that's that's a death sentence <laughs> sorry you know the uh okay now she wants the paper towel that's the end it was a good run. It was a good run. At least we got to click Pez for some time. You did. You did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll pick up Everyone's that... going to be like, what is under the desk? It must be a, a giant, ferocious dog. We'll Come here. Dog Come here. Come. Roxy. Come on. She's scratching. She's. She's doing a little scratch. Kelsey is here. Hey, Kelsey. She also demands muffins. So, <laughs> I mean, you did it to yourself, Sunshine. That's uh, all I can say. The red microwave says hello. The red microwave. Is that a Grogu? <laughs> is that a, yeah, that's like a, That's the Christmas Grogu. Yeah, that's like... Um, yes. Is it the one that says up to snow good? Because that's my favorite one. I think one. it's the one that says up to snow good. <laughs> up to snow good. I'm pretty sure it is. It could say joy to the galaxy as well. Joy to the... Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> good. Interesting. I can't get it any... The uh, red microwave. Nice. That is the weirdest name I've Come ever on. seen, but, uh, you know. Is that, that beats Sunshine Tuna? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> At least that one's just like a color and then a microwave. Well, I mean, it's like a, a random object in your house. Not a not a sunshine and then a tuna. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can uh, get this, this back This is to... Roxy. I don't know why she's... she's She needs to take a nap. She, we just got home from puppy class and... She's tired, but when she gets tired, she gets crazy. <laughs> shello, fellow pet head, Pez heads. Hey, anagrams. Hey, shello, anagrams. <laughs> Welcome. Is that is that is Nope. <laughs> nope. Same 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 as always. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. What else do we have going on? 
We have Sunshine, Tuna, and Pesmerized having private conversation. I won't put that on the screen. What else we got going? Ah, Lena is here. Hello, hello. Hey, Lena. How's it going? What's going on on her little thing there? Looks like a... What even oh, is that's... that? Oh, they're like just weird colors. Oh, no, wait. Mm. Hmm. That's the, uh... What the heck? What even is that? And they must be custom Pez. Fantasy. Fantasy Pez. Because that, that's the Pez Pal, and then that's the other one from the... Oh, what set is that? It's like the science kid. I, I don't know. Tell us, Lena, what those are. <laughs> Lena's name is like a... It's like a book character name. Like it's the it's like a really good book character name. It's like when you read books and you go, how do they think of these great names? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Who else we got? Allie and the hamster. Hey Allie and the hamster. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jason is here. Hey Jason. Hey Jason. <laughs> let's see here. Let us see here. Oh. The hamster gets it twice. <laughs> you know, he's an MVP, so hey, hamster. We'll, we'll, we'll let him have the stage twice. Meet the Robinsons. That's it. Meet, oh, yeah. Meet the Robinsons. <clears throat> Let's see here. So here's Joan. Hey, Aaron and Greg. And all you pest heads out there. Love ya, heart. Hey, Joan. Hey, Joan. <laughs> Joan is a, uh, is a really great example of how, how you should comment on my videos, everybody. Yeah. Be like Joan. I appreciate it. James Getty. I, I love hearing from, uh, you know, other collectors when I make the YouTube videos so I can hear some, like, you know, I can talk about Pez. Uh, I appreciate the comments. <laughs> it's not at all for the algorithm. No, I'm, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> actually, actually, they've proven in YouTube that you can have a video with a lot of comments. I even have some videos with a bunch of comments and you can have less watch or click through rate or whatever. It's all about the watch time now, like how long someone watched your video. Yeah. So I just like hearing from you guys, so I think it's fun. So say hi to James. I the took him channel's the still not big enough that I get weird randos saying weird things to me, so <laughs> Dang Joan. I wouldn't take that. Not her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying like I think once you know, like I hear people online saying, you know, like once you, your audience and stuff grows large enough that you might not want to read the comments. So right now I like reading the comments. <laughs> Kelsey here is <clears throat> a bad influence. Here she, for the spice. Here for the spice. <laughs> and Ricky's like, can't say spicy. <laughs> hot. Yeah. Spicy isn't hot. Like something's. Like you, like you ate some taco sauce. Mm. Oh, Aaron. Such an innocent soul. <laughs> Jack is here. Jack. Marie Jade is here. Hey, Marie. Welcome, welcome. I guess Jack doesn't have bowling today. I've been telling his personal business to everybody. Maybe he's the champion and the league is over. You don't know. <laughs> Anyone want a muffin? <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Howdy, Caitlin. Yeah. I mean, it happens. Caitlin is south of us right now, and it happens fast. I'm just saying. Like Real mile, fast. Like, a, like not even a mile. <laughs> Real fast it happens, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's that high school she goes to. Pesmerai says, you've got F1 fans here taking your chat off topic. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Speak amongst yourselves. <laughs> That's fine. We just don't know anything about F1 to chime in. Yeah. It's yeah. like a foreign language when you start talking about it. <laughs> Caitlin says, Roxy up to snow good. She's doing better now. Yes. See, the problem is, it's just got a little taste of that, you know, human finger. 
So you no, don't she, know where it's going to go from here. She didn't like, she didn't like, she just bit, she jumped up and like, grabbed my finger because my hand was hanging off my leg and she's got it in the right spot. Peppermint Pat is here. Hello, hello. It's Peppermint Pat. <laughs> Give James another try since you keep uh, talking over him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Watermelon, <laughs> watermelon. Hey, James. James. Nice of you to join us. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's Lena and Elliot. It's me and Elliot. Yeah. We have a... We have split... Is it split or is it... Paint them, maybe. Oh, we have... Oh, you have paint them. I think she's in Sweden, so. I see. I see. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah. Sunny is here. Hey. Hey, Sunny. Welcome. You made it to the live stream. Welcome. He's supposed to be at work. He's, He's probably like, working in his office. He's like, forget this. <laughs> Whatever this work is, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's nice. Thanks, Marie. That's so sweet. Hopefully they're helpful. <laughs> yeah, here we go. And enjoyable, right? That's the whole. That's right. That's the goal. I prefer the enjoyable. I like to be unhelpful. <laughs> that's my favorite. Well, I have to throw some Pez knowledge in. Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's a little. I thought sometimes about making it's too much for me. I thought about making a whole series where I pretend to buy Pez at stores that don't have them. What? <laughs> What the heck is that? I, I, You're gonna go to yeah. I'll take the Pez in with me. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you tell it's just us? the ma it's just Why the did magic. You say that? We could have just made it's that. just the magic of of videos, right? You'll <laughs> never know. We still might do that. And, and then and then I just laugh on Facebook like this, <laughs> as other people are checking Home Depot for Pez. Like, if you would have said Lowe's, I would have laughed because people do find Pez at Lowe's. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have been a good example then. <laughs> Oh man, no one would ever trust. It'd be like, it'd be like when Aaron is on Aaron collects Pez, you know to believe it. But when I'm on, it's like watching the Onion. <laughs> it's like Greg got fooled about the Magic Kingdom burning down last week. I did. <laughs> or not the Magic Kingdom, the uh, the Cinderella the Castle. Cinderella Castle in the Magic Kingdom at Disney World. Aaron's like, did you hear about the fire at Disney World? No, like, it was, we were looking at the YouTube. We were watching YouTube, uh, and it was in the feed, and the short came up. And I'm like, click that. Like, what the heck? And then it was it was like the people were still at Disney World. And I'm like, it seems weird, but I don't know. And then, like, the next day I saw that it was fake. And then, like, news uh, outlets and stuff were picking it up. Because you saw it on something yeah, else. Yeah, I saw it on Google News. Uh, <laughs> I was like... And it's like a... I had deleted TikTok. Yeah. And the whole... I don't remember who posted it, but their whole account is like fake... Fake Disney AI news, stuff. Fake yeah. Disney news. So it's like... It just seemed too believable. And then... But it was funny because like the video of it where the people still at the Magic Kingdom when it was burning down. <laughs> like if you think about it, they would probably shut the whole place down if something caught on fire. Sunshine Tuna's like, did anyone get a bunch of snow over the last 40 hours like we no. did? No, no, Sunshine. It's summer here. It's, no, it's actually, it's pretty cold out. It's like 30, oh, it's 40 now. It was like 35 or something earlier. It was cold. But yesterday, it was like 70 something here. And it was beautiful. And then it got real cold in the evening. It got the temperature dropped now. It's a cold front back. But like, we keep going up to like 80 and then it goes to and then it goes back down to like 30 and, so, and like at night it gets really cold, but we're not out of winter yet, but it's trying. Oh, now I got to remember Jim. Jim. So let's see. So many people I have to remember Wait, their names. Did he mention that before? I don't know. <laughs> I'll never remember it again. You want me to remember that? You got to change your name to Jim. Jim. <laughs> now that's fine. That, we'll probably, remember. We probably can remember that. We'll remember that. Yeah. We'll remember. J just for you. Apparently, Kelsey is also in Alaska with Sunshine Tuna, uh, or at the North Pole. Well, it's a good day to sit around and talk about pens with us. Yeah. Peppermint Pat says she watches all your videos, too. Thanks, Peppermint Pat. That's, I mean, you guys are real troopers. That's more than I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Don't ask. Don't ask Greg when's the last time he watched the video. It's fine. He does the live streams with me. That's all I ex can hope for. <laughs> yeah, and at least, it, you know, many times I have to come up here and pre-watch the video. Oh, every once in a while. That's just when it's like too good. I'm like, you gotta watch this, Greg. You cannot wait until I release it tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, let me just tell you that sneak, sneak peek, you know, eight hours before everyone else sees it. Mm. It's almost like I'm the sole Patreon. Patron on Patreon. Sunshine says she got a big Luna cat the other day. One, the one from Walmart. You mean like the Walmart? Mm. Is it different? Mm. Is Sunshine Tuna trying to greg us? <laughs> mm. No, they probably sell them at Walmart. They sell the balls... The snackle balls at Walmart because I went there and I, I bought a couple. Ah, those brings back so many memories. All those videos I made, <laughs> trying to get that Lena snackle, trying to get this, trying to get this tiny cat. Uh oh, Roxy, Roxy's like I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> the big one is super cute. I like it a lot. Joan says, thanks for the shout out. I love commenting on your videos because you always reply and that's so much fun. Thanks, Joan. She. Is everyone still there? Is everyone still there? Hello. Oh, yeah, we're back. Ooh, we're back. Why did it stop? Our internet must have had an issue. Did it hiccup? Must have, must have had the old hiccups. Whew, I got really nervous. Ooh, I don't man. like it when it stops. It's not that's fun. good. It's not good. Yeah, so she's always up here replying to comments. That's... I like at night. Well, sometimes yeah. I just get on and I reply here and there. Whatever I have time for. Yeah, it was the mousetrap uh, news video. Caitlin knows. That's it. <laughs> See, she's not fooled. She's not fooled. <laughs> was it that mousetrap news video? Question mark. Is I mean, the name is called mousetrap. I mean, how <laughs> obvious could it be? Gosh. But I think when we saw it, we just... I didn't even see who posted it. I just, yeah. We just played it because it's just like, what? Like, so like, I was I was what? just scrolling on Google News yeah. and I saw it like on the main page of Google News, like at the bottom, when you're scrolling down, it's like entertainment, business, blah, blah, blah. blah. And I always click on business and technology and I thought, meh, it burned down. I just literally, I go, <laughs> whatever. I gave not one care about it. And then we saw the video on. and uh, That's how fake news spreads. That's exactly right. And Aaron's like, oh, it burned down. I'm like, yeah, I saw that. Right. Well, the thought of something at Disney World burning down, like you'd think that they would have like lots of ways to protect the stuff down there. Like it wouldn't just burn down. I'm yeah. getting licked. See, Sunshine knows. That would be hilarious. Then get annoyed that they don't have any. Oh, <laughs> oh it would be sweet. So sweet. And of course, Ricky. Is like, it'd be so bad when they try to check out. Poor parents explain why their kids. Listen, there is nobody taking their parents. They're like, they're, it's the parents that are going to be upset. Like, like most people that would see our videos are collectors. They'll be up there looking for them. <laughs> I mean, they might have kids involved, but like, uh, I'm going to irritate adults with this. can't take Greg anywhere. No, it's better if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Of course, Jim. But you're here a lot. So yes. that's good. We appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see. Jason says, thankfully, where he's at, he doesn't get snow. That's good. I'm ready for summer. I don't want it to get too, too hot, but I want some warm days. Oh, yeah. It looks like uh, Walmart's the place for the big Luna cat. <laughs> so, wait, maybe she's in on it, too. <laughs> well, listen, I don't. I'm easy to convince. You don't have to. Like, I'm I'm on board. Big Luna cat at Walmart. Go check it out. No more Cinderella castle. Thing burned down. It doesn't even matter to me. Like, whatever. <laughs> wait, she got the Luna cat the first try? Nice. Yeah. I was lucky. Wait, did you tell me that on Instagram? That sounds familiar. 
Um, that's, yeah, I wish I was that lucky. It was, number one, it was really hard to get them at the store. Like, when I would go to the store, they would only have, I think one time I bought six and they still had a couple, but when I went back to get the last couple, those were already gone. And then, um, I would buy them on Amazon and then you can't weigh them. You just gotta take what you can get. And then plus I wanted all of them, even though Greg says I should sell the rest of them. Oh, I did list. Oh, Caitlin came over. She's she's on spring break. Or her sp oh wait, are we having the Taylor Swift concert tonight? We might do that tonight. I was like not gonna bring it up. <laughs> I was hoping you forgot about it. So Caitlin came over and she um very nice nice of her. She listed all the extra snackles for sale on our eBay page. And uh like she listed them and then like one of them already sold like right away. So I need to, we need to sell the rest of them. But that means you sold one way too cheap. Well, they're 15, they're a little more than what you buy them at the store, but I'm figuring that once eBay fees and then us to ship them and then, you know, they're open. So you know what you're getting. So I thought five bucks is probably sounds fair. I mean, cause the people have the other ones on there for way more. Like that's pretty, some of them are more, some of them are about the same. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be. Fair. I just kind of want to. I mean, if I could sell them, that's fine. Sid is driving. Sid is driving, everyone. <laughs> Sid is driving. I tried to get Greg to do something funny today, but Greg wouldn't. Greg didn't think it was funny, Sid. So we're not doing it. What do you mean? I didn't say I wasn't going to do it. You uh -huh. just have to wait and see. <laughs> but now I'm not doing it. <laughs> he still doesn't know. He doesn't know, Greg. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Vicky is here. Hey, Vicky. Yeah, we were buffering because I guess our internet was acting crazy, uh, but yeah. it's back now. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't make us have to start a new feed. Yeah, if something happens and you're watching the live stream, just, you know, stick around. We'll be back. Like, we won't just end it unless something just totally, the internet just totally goes out or something. But even that, we could probably just pull up her phone. At least say, hey, you know. <laughs> but... If it ever goes out, we'll be back. Yeah. Tim says, morning from sleepy Tim and Rebecca. I just got up. Oh, no. Man, living that life. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like we're, over, we're over here hustling to try are to you, get you some Pez information. And are, you, are you still on Mexico just, time? You're just living life. <laughs> he's, still living, he's still living in the hot, warm, sunny Mexico in that lifestyle. Yeah. Allie's been reading some Shakespeare. Everyone smite thine like. Do what Alley Cat says. That's right. That's right. Ah, <laughs> oh, no thumbs down. Yeah, give well, a thumbs down. We're gonna kick you out. That's right. We see it. We see it. Right yeah, now. it happens instantly on the screen, and, uh, and your name comes up. It makes me cry. <laughs> Let's see here. What is this? Like your twenty the video. What does that mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, good, good <clears throat> comment. Uh huh. Or. We're on YouTube. We're not translators, Jim. Come on. <laughs> Maybe he's saying like your video. Let's see here. <laughs> ah, Knickerdoodles is here. Knickerdoodles. Do, 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 do. Knickerdoodles. I think he's got. I think he's got one of the best names besides Sunshine Tuna. I'm just, just saying. Just kind of rolls off, rolls off the tongue like. It's pretty good. <laughs> Look, red microwaves like. Hey, Aaron. I got here. Go ahead and wave to her. I'll, I'll let you <laughs> let you have a minute. Greg's not here. This is Greg. He gets right. he feels left out sometimes. I don't actually. <laughs> the Snackles balls are on sale at Walmart in Ontario this week. I'm going to brave Walmart and see if I can find some. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Walmart either. Um, but you know, sometimes you just have to. You know, it's like going to the DMV. Sometimes you just have to go. <laughs> They do have fun stuff sometimes to look at, but like if you look at the holiday stuff, it's kind of fun. But just yeah. going to Walmart is kind of, uh, I don't know, makes me a little crazy. <laughs> See, Pesmerize has the right idea. Thumbs down must have been a misclick because it's not possible. That, who would give you a thumbs down, Aaron? I mean, you know, me. I could see it. I could see it, but not you. It's okay. Oh, it's You're too fine. wholesome. It's, it's fine. It's, I'll just 
just be sad for the rest of the day. <laughs> Had a banner week of trades. Oh, wait a second. What's going on here? Had a banner week of trades. Got a full set of Barbies, Space Mission Shuttle, Silver and Gold Astronaut, Gabby, Popcorn Treat, Valentine's Mascot, and Pez Presenter Girl. Nice. Is that Pez Cherry? Yes. Hmm. Are you sending you messages? Oh, that's on eBay. No. <laughs> yeah. That's it's quite the haul. A nice Pez haul there. Red Microwave says, love the channel. Thank you. Thank you, Red Microwave. Appreciate everybody who watches the videos and yeah. you know leaves comments, gives thumbs ups, and you know until we met you, Red Microwave, <laughs> I actually didn't have a preference of microwave color, but now I do. I prefer the Red Microwave. You would be Silver Microwave because that's what color ours is. I, it's just silver. what we got when we <laughs> moved in. People before us were Silver Microwave. We need a new microwave. It works fine, but it's just a little old. <sighs> I don't care. Put it on the list. <laughs> Put it on the list. Gotta stay poor somehow. No, we have pets to buy. We use. We spend all our money, extra money on pets. Oh my god, I spent a lot of money this week. That's for sure. <laughs> what? You did bought stuff that I don't know about. Always. I mean, like new stuff this week. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We bought some stuff. Oh. Because we need some stuff oh. for next week. Yeah. So. Got some good stuff. You know, sometimes stuff up, comes up and you just have to get it while getting's good. Yeah. Let's talk about the limited edition Pez that was released this past week. Do you want to pull it up? Oh, I guess. You can go to Pez.com or you can go to Pez.at. Pez.com sold it out. What, what to do now? Go to type in... Uh, you might have to type. You might have to type in and type. Click there. Here. Right here. Hey, do you want me to share? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Bum, 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 bum. High five, Roxy. High That's five, my desktop picture. Roxy. I always have to give you guys a little treat. You know, double Greg vision. <laughs> I like how it's called ombre. Yeah. It, it, it seems like you either know what ombre is or you don't. So this is the new Easter limited edition Pez that was released this past week. And it sold out like super fast on Pez.com. I don't, it didn't even make it through the day, I don't think. And then Pez.at, so the Pez International site, they still have them for sale. But you can't you know buy from them if you if you live here in the united states but if you live outside the united states you might be able to buy from pez international but this is the, and the picture doesn't do it justice like it, some people have already got them last couple of days and they are it's super cute i mean it's already an old mold it's just a recoloring but it's super cute to me it looks like every spring breaker that only put sunscreen on their face <laughs> That's it's what it looks like to me. It's like when Caitlin, my niece, went to the beach and then she didn't put sunscreen on one arm. And so she had one red arm. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin, I'm talking about you. <laughs> She's probably gone now. I mean, that 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 bunny looks like it's in pain. <laughs> like, you know, it had a towel on its head, you know, while it was, while it was laying in the sun and fell asleep. It doesn't, the picture doesn't, the picture doesn't look as good as it does in real life. Like, the in real life, it looks more like a gradient going up it looks more ombre mm -hmm. <laughs> strictly enforced oh they do i don't think we're not on the video they can't see us oh uh, <laughs> i don't know what you have done pez does check that because i haven't heard anybody complain about it lately because maybe people are following the rules but for a while when they first started that I remember people were like, oh, they canceled my order, my husband ordered or something. I don't know, something, just stuff like that. And uh, They can't ever do it to me because I accidentally order it to my neighbor and then go ring their doorbell. <laughs> well, I think they must check your credit card and they must check your dresser. I don't know. They, there's a system. Somehow they know. Listen, I'm lucky our neighbors are so nice because I've sent $1,000 cameras over their house by accident. Uh, 
and like a box of wine. <laughs> oh, yeah, a giant box of wine. <laughs> I had to watch Lucky to cross the street. Oh. I go, I guess my address is five, not four. I'll have to remember that, but thanks for bringing like, it over. That was not, that was maybe like a year or so after we moved in. Like, now you, have, you haven't made that mistake in a while. But for like, a, for like the same week, you were like giving out the same wrong address. I ship so many things to that, my neighbor across the street. Oh. I would probably watch FedEx come and then they would leave and I would go, oh no. And I would see the box on the porch and I would contemplate. Is that my box? Should I go over there and just take it? Like, no, they brought it over really fast. I know. They noticed. They were like, mm, I didn't buy anything online. <laughs> oh. That's fine. We have nice neighbors. All right. We'll see. We got a couple questions still. I put this on the screen just because Knickerdoodles is obviously correct. I mean, we'll send it to you if you want to put it on your computer background. I mean, <laughs> for free. We won't even charge you. I, Aaron talks about charging people for it. but You know you know how that pose happened, right? So this is the little behind the scenes story about right, right when it... I think that, wait, wait, that it's picture proof. is actually in one of my videos. I'm it, pretty sure. It's proof that I'm up here in her office while waiting for her to be done working. The, so, um, I was premiering the video, you know, the night before I premiered it here on the channel, and Greg and Roxy just watched it. And then after it was over, they were like, that's the best video ever, Aaron. And they, and they uh, ding, and then it, that's, that's how it happened. That's what happened. It wasn't, it wasn't, hey, Roxy, it's finally over. High five. <laughs> wasn't that. Greg, just don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that. that shot is in one of the videos, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because somehow I had the camera in it, or maybe you guys were just posing. I don't know. The camera was in my office, so I videoed you. Yeah, okay, let's see. What do we got? So Jim got some new Pez. Nice. Nice, nice. That, that doesn't help us. Elaborate a little doesn't, bit. I mean, we appreciate it, but, it, you know, not much content in that comment. The red microwave is just like, take this heart. <laughs> take this heart. I will, I will take it. So let's see. Okay, so anagrams, you know, here we go. Quality content here. Oh, the Gumby yeah. Pez is cool. I saw that pick in one of the Facebook We have that on card, that Gumby. Mm. Yeah, we do. That's the same company. Mine's different. It is? Mine's a custom. Well, they're both custom or fantasy made. Yeah, they're but... both fancy. I thought they're both the same ones. No, mine's made out of like uh, clay or something. His is 3D printed. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I don't know how you know because, because it's Because there car. was no 3D printer back 20 years ago or whatever when mine was made. Mm, that's probably true. Maybe I need to sell mine to Tim or, or do something with it. You going to sell yours? I don't know. I don't know where to put it in the collection. That's the problem. <laughs> it is kind of an oddball. <laughs> is it up or here? Or sometimes I think maybe I should take it off the card. Don't you dare. Well, the card's already, like, kind of uh, taped. And then also, I must think, or maybe I should replace the bubble, because the bubble on it is, like, yellowing or whatever. I don't know if the person smoked or whatever who had it before. Just gets old. Or it just gets old. I don't know. Like, or it was in the sun. I don't know. I like the dispenser on the inside. I don't really like the package. But I don't want to take it out of the package because I feel like you lose part of the funness of the, of the pet. <laughs> yeah, the whole reason I bought that was because of the package. Oh. I'm see. not selling it. Don't worry, Greg. You won't be able to find it after today. Where's it at? It'll be in my office. Oh. No, because I took it down, it always sat over here, and then I took it down to the big display, and I was like, oh, I'm going to hang it up or something, but I don't know, I took it down there, and uh, or I thought maybe I'd put it on the shelf or something, but I don't know where to put it. I'll, I'll figure out a cool spot for it. So Red Microwave wants to know what your favorite Pez is. Favorite Pez? Yeah. Right now, it's probably my long beak raven. <laughs> It's in my office. I can't. I... <laughs> yeah. 
it's not your favorite? I've bought you Pez that are five times the price of that long beak raven. <laughs> I like my long beak raven. Oh, we're opening a Pez today. That might be one of my new top favorite Pez. Is that true? Yes. So excited. I can't wait. Do I even know about it? I thought you bought it. I did? Yeah, I was like, you show you're like, you're like, so-and-so says he has these pets for sale. And I'm like, okay, let me look. Oh. Because they're like, they're crystal and I don't know much about these. And I'm like, I'm about, I'm all about the crystal and like the pets. Was that from Ben? Was it from Ben Timpy? No. Who was it from? Dane. 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 And then uh, he showed me the picture and I'm like, I've been wanting this pets for a while. Oh, <laughs> never yeah. Comes for sale. Yeah, those were a small fortune. I'm glad we're opening them this week. <laughs> yeah, so apparently Peppermint Pat is driving Where's too. Where's Peppermint Pat going? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, my name is Shep. Ah, oh, hey Shep. <laughs> Come on. I gotta remember that. All right, let's see here. What else we got? So Sunshine Tuna says, why didn't anyone make Gumby's horse? It seems like a missed opportunity. What is the name of Gumby's Pokey. horse? Pokey. Okay, oh, well. That's good. Get. That's, good that's five minutes of good comments that we'll not get. No. What's no. the name of Gumby's horse? <laughs> Do you know, Greg? I don't. Maybe someone will comment it oh. in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's like uh, Slimer. Smoky. Smoky. <laughs> <laughs> I fell into a, a, the, the LOL rabbit hole this week. I wasn't going to collect that set, but then I got one in a lot I bought. Luckily, Series 3 is the only one I can find mm. in the stores right now. Yeah. Yeah. I make this a little Those, smaller. did you find them without the covers on them? Because it seems like when they first get released, you can't find them but the ones with the little squares, the little teal squares on top of the head so you can't see what you're buying. But then it seems like if you wait long enough, they'll start, they start selling them. I think Michael's had them, I don't know for sure, I think, that without the bubbles on top. So you could just buy them. Oh, interesting. I, I bought, I have a video unboxing them, but I got pretty lucky on Series 3. But... Series 1 and 2 took me a little bit longer to find. I think I ended up trading and buying a couple online. But it took, especially like if you're looking for them on eBay, like they might not put the actual name of them on there. You just gotta have to like scroll through and look through all the listings. So. Anagrams is playing along at least. Pokey! Pokey! Is that right, Gary? I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. I don't like the con. I gotta try to get the comments back to where I like them. Whenever I mess with them, yeah, I think that's good. Remember when we were at. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Remember, we'll remember when we were at Peasant Mania in Cleveland and uh, David Welch was in there watching Gumby and Pokey? <laughs> Man of class and taste, what can I say? <laughs> Shep is in here to. That's $25, please. You can send it right over via uh, Super Chat. What's your channel? I'm sure it's the Red Microwave. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm okay. We're all, we're all you too. <laughs> Control Z. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'll check it out. Hopefully, it's a Pez channel. If it's not, then I don't know. Here you go. I can't help. Pe Pez Mariah is going to dig us out of this hole. What is the name uh, of the Lone Ranger's nephew's <laughs> horse? Oh my gosh. Pokey. <laughs> nephew? His nephew's horse. Is this like a trick question? I think he just called it nephew. <laughs> Pretty sure. Sid should be driving. Pokey. <laughs> Pokey. He's at a stoplight. He's like, I know this one. <laughs> he's so lagged because he's driving. Uh, oh, okay. What else? Um, so also, 
the space mission Pez, the oh, astronaut, yeah. the two astronauts, the Mars rover, and the space shuttle were released as a box counter box set. This is the spicy stuff. It's not a set. Just a counter box. Counter box. Just a retail count, counter box. Twelve count box of space. A space mission Pez you could buy on Pez.com. That's the only place you can get it. That's right. If you call it a set, it infers that they're all in there. <laughs> okay. So Pez International hasn't even listed the set yet. And for some reason, they call it Mission Space. Or Mars Space. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Mars Mission. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They call it Mars Mission. Isn't that weird? Like, they named it something totally different. And they have different <laughs> graphics. But they a lot of times they have different graphics. But they named it... Mars Mission, so you can't even buy it from them yet. So Pez, Interna so Pez International doesn't have it for sale, but Pez USA has it for sale. I'm not sure if it's still on the website. It seems like it kept going on and off out of stock, in stock. But So so all the Pez collectors are like, oh, I'm going to buy this. I think because the space shuttle was the New Year's, uh, the 2024 New Year's limited edition release was the space shuttle Pez. And that went over like really well, and a lot of people missed out on even buying that because they only make uh, 2024 for here in the United States and then 2024 for Pez International. So those sold out really fast here in the U.S. And so I think everyone is seeing these box sets, the 12 count counter box for sale on Pez.com, and they're buying it, and then... All in the description on the website, it says that it's random, so you might not even get a complete set. Look at this. <laughs> You're tagged. <laughs> nice. The red microwave tagged you in a video. Thanks. Oh my gosh, it's always Pez. Hey, let me show it. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Appreciate it. And uh, Greg will show that now. Finish talking. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. I want to check it. So that's the Red Microwaves collection. It's hard to see on my phone, but if you want to check it out, got a couple shorts going on there. Go ahead. Sorry. Just multitasking. I'll follow you here afterwards. And then, uh, so I think, so, you know, all the collectors were on there, you know, buy, buy, buy. They're buying the box sets. And some people are even buying a couple box sets I've seen. And... A lot of people are not getting full complete sets in like any of them <laughs> and so it's it's causing a lot of uh like people some people are like oh you should just wait or what'd you say box set <laughs> <laughs> so some people are like oh you should have waited or some people are like you know oh, just buy them you know they're probably going to release some as singles anyway so you can fill up your box after but i think a lot of people are disappointed because you know you spend the 25 dollars to buy the 12 count counter box of these <laughs> space mission pez and you're not even getting the complete set so hopefully pez can figure that out especially on these i don't think it probably matters on some of the stuff but if they think that i think a set is going to be popular with the collectors they should try to i think Fix it. I and mean, that's hundred that's thousands of dollars that these people are spending. I mean, I know it's not the huge thousands majority of dollars. Of, it's like yeah, twelve twenty five dollars each. The twenty five dollar box sets. Yeah, twenty five dollars. That's how do they how do you get to a thousand? How many thousands? Because all these collectors are buying them and then they're not oh, getting complete sets. You mean thousands in total for yes, everybody? Yes. Oh well yeah, but like a grocery store buy like ten cases of them. Well, they haven't started to sell them to the grocery stores yet, or their grocery stores haven't been putting them out. Just saying, like, it just is a hot topic right now. So who got a complete set? Because it's either, like, you got a complete set, and you're like, yes, I got a complete set. Or you're like, it, it, that yeah. old pest company, I didn't get a complete set. It like, seems like the rovers are the ones that are most Yeah, the rover missing. one is the least made. But I wonder if there's just a less amount of rovers because they had to print on the stems. I'm going to buy 10 boxes of them, and I hope I get a box of all rovers. <laughs> I don't wonder how they package them. You do just they, trade. Did the people, I mean, do they just come off the assembly line and then they just, I'm sure, because they package it all here in the United States, but it's all made 
like the dispensers are made in China. So I think when you go to the Pez factory up in Orange, Connecticut, they put them in the package and then do the people pop them? They just probably go. Whoop, whoop. I think they come in giant cases, don't they? Like they're all just stacked up in a in a box. Yeah, but they're not packaged until they they package them here with the candy. I don't know. So Allie says, uh, Hamster and I got two complete sets and added one from eBay to make three complete sets. That's nice. That's pretty good. Let's see here. <laughs> Rebecca says, complete set is a complete set. <laughs> you, even Tim's confused. <laughs> She Tim, <laughs> she's messaging from inside the house. <laughs> oh, uh. that's so funny. <laughs> okay, what do we? All, what else do we have going on in here? Wait, wait. What has memorized? Give us the answer to the Lone Ranger's nephew's horse. I mean, <laughs> no one said it, so maybe it's, wait, so someone, someone has a name on there. Wait, go down. Is it? Is it Victor? <laughs> Did Joan get it right? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, Kelsey got it. Kelsey got it. Okay, go, go back up here. Oh, Oh yeah, look at that. Ah. Sorry, sorry, Kelsey, I missed that. Joan, you lost. <laughs> to just forget that was on the screen. But still feel free to comment on Aaron's videos. <laughs> Great. Can't only just be winners commenting. It's fine. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Oh, it's a Christmas story. The Lone Ranger's nephew's horse is Victor. That's the clue that won the leg lamp in a Christmas oh. story. Oh, that's some knowledge right there. We drove by the... If you ever go to uh, Pennsylvania in Cleveland, Ohio, really close to where the convention's at is the Christmas story house. We didn't go in, but we drove by it. Remember that? Yeah. I don't so, remember how close, but it was close. So Vicky is demanding we get to open in boxes. Okay. It is late. We've been having a lot of fun. So Vicky is correct. It's not late. It's about time. Here, let's open this box. That's not a box. Great. This is from eBay. And then the person sent a picture saying, oh, it's shipping out. And it was a picture of the <laughs> and he's like, is that okay? It's a peasant card. I'm like, yeah, it's fine because I'm going to open it anyway. Yeah, I was about to tell the person. Um, uh. <laughs> put it in a box, please. It's not even attached to the card. <laughs> it came off. This it's, poor thing is brutalized. It's pretty bad. It's an elf. This is the one I was talking about. Okay, Roxy, this is my paper, okay? Shep is, yeah, yeah. Liquid Death is, oh. is, uh, <laughs> you know, apparently they're worth now a billion dollars, so they can throw a couple of bucks over here to Aaron Collects Pez uh, because we need it to buy more Liquid Death. It's just good. I like, uh, sparkling water, just the plain. Not an ad. <laughs> like, uh, the flavored ones are good too. We drink a lot of water. It's like all I drink. <laughs> but this elf is was in my so that video last was that last week when I was reorganizing the Christmas and the Easter Pez shelves, and I was like, "There's a spot missing in my elf collection," <laughs> and I think I bought it. And I don't think I ever opened it before. I need to look down there. But I found this one on eBay. It was only I don't know a couple dollars, so I bought it. And look, oh, look, see how easy it was to open that? I mean, it's really, it was actually very thoughtful and convenient. So. <laughs> Here, let's put it on the spinner. You this... can turn on the light. <laughs> I 
You guys can see it without the light. Whoop. Is it focused? Uh, here, move that little thing so I can see. Oh, there you go. Roxy. Roxy knows we got the packages out. Tis a little dark. Did I, uh... Where's my phone? Oh, my phone's still in my pocket. Oh, yeah. Hold. Ro Roxy's getting a little of scrub. She's loving it. They can't see. Working it. Okay. Work it. This is the Elf Pez. And this one is the harder to find one out of the two elves that look similar. It has the green under the hat there. And then it has the green on its little shirt. So if you're looking at your Elf Pez, you know, make sure you have this one. Because this is the one that they didn't make for very long. And it's, you might not have it. So that's a fun variation, right? Yeah. I feel like I turned the camera down just a little bit, but I feel like it's kind of dark, but hopefully that's fine. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. Did you like that one, Greg? Oh, I loved it. It was so good. When you put it on the shelf, it's an elf on the shelf. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, no. Do we have vintage? Do we need it? I don't know if we have much vintage. Okay. I don't know what you bought, so. If we have, uh, if we have, you, you open that one. If we have some vintage, then. It says 3.9. It's not going to be very exciting. Ah! It's probably a whistle. Let's be real. <laughs> Do you want to chew on the bone? What is that? A little slobber. I'm hungry. Just what are we going to have for lunch? Table. I don't know. I just cleaned the table off. It's all clean. It's not sticky for you, girl. What is... I know what these are. There's a spot on my screen. What is that? <laughs> Heroes in a half shell. <gasps> oh, Total those power. are mine. I bought these. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I picked these out. Oh, so that was another thing. I have... We I don't think I ever showed them on the channel. I need a, Maybe I should make a video about these. But... I have, this completes my Ninja Turtle set. I keep looking over at that box thinking, what is that? Where? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> what? It's, okay. it's so Here. Here, put it up, weird looking. Put it up there. So these are the last three Ninja Turtles that I needed. I mean, there's like other variations and stuff to look for, but... I'm not doing that. Maybe you make an Instagram of putting them on the fill in the holes over there. That's a good idea. Yeah. It's a really good idea, Greg. It's so satisfying. Yeah. What do you think, Roxy? No, these, these look pretty good, too. Did I get them in the middle? Yep, here we go. They look good. I like I like these Ninja Turtles. I've been wanting to get the whole name set. Name the Ninja Turtles, Gray. What, like Raphael, um, Leonardo, and Michelangelo? Yes. Winner. I want a what chicken dinner. What is going dinner. on? What is going on? Are we doing the Taylor Swift thing tonight or not? We're supposed to. Is it for sure? Yes. Okay, did they send you a message saying it was for sure? No, but we talked about it last week. Did they confirm? Yes, hmm. I'm pretty sure. We gotta, figure, we gotta figure out what we're making for dinner then. Okay, we can have make something fun and, or get something and then we can do something fun. I don't know. Turtle power. It's pretty cool. So these are, if you, wait, the happy, oh, wait. if you're new here to pest collecting, the ones with the little tongue, that's the happy. And then these are called angry with the little teeth. So there's... So when you're looking for the Ninja Turtles to buy, there's stem color variations. They're like purple, orange, and yellow like you see. But then there's also black, green, red, and uh, blue that you don't see. I think that's all the colors. And then there's one of each. So you have, you know, four Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello. 
and then you have an angry version of each, and then you have a happy version of each. So that's a lot of variations. It's like 52, is that right? You know, Patty can make some cool stop motion with the different faces of the ah. of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. I would watch that. So I have one of each now. And it's funny because I don't... I used to have the Ninja Turtles on the on my display like but it seems like since we moved here for a few years now i've had them in a box and then i was always like oh i'm missing some i'm not gonna put them out and then eventually maybe like a month ago or something someone was had some for sale he had some pez he was asking me if i wanted to buy and uh i was like yeah maybe i'll buy those ninja turtles and then i'm like wait a minute maybe i should look and see what I have because I remember going to the National Annual Pez Convention. John Dumlin's not on today. And uh maybe he just insane, didn't come in. uh insane in in shopping because like if you ever go to a pez convention, it's a really great place to look for variations because people will have like just boxes of pez for a dollar or cheaper. And it's good. It's a good time to look for some variations if you, you know, if you need variations. So I remember digging through boxes for Ninja Turtles, and then so I got mine out, and I'm like, I only need three. Like I don't need to buy these. So then, like right after that, someone posted these on for sale on Facebook. Like a whole bunch of them. It might have been a whole set. I don't know. I don't remember. But I was like, I need those three, and he still had them, so I bought them. And give me a box. The collection is complete. Give me a box. Yeah, but that's a good Ninja Turtle story, Granny. Oh, it was cat. I was riveted the entire time. Right. Hmm. Open that box. That's Roxy with me smell. What do you think, Roxy? Huh? Okay. Oh, Roxy graduated from puppy training yesterday. We're very proud. Very proud. I'm proud. There's a pic you can see on Aaron's Facebook. There's a picture of her with her little diploma. I had to go through the training too. It's very uh it's very nerve wracking when you're there trying to train the dog. And there's lots of distractions for both of us. Look Deadpool. at this. Kelsey says, Woo, congrats, Roxy. Wait, we can't see Roxy. Wait, we still can't see Roxy. <laughs> Here, you just let me drive. Thanks, Kelsey. I yeah, don't have to remind you of the, the opening video debacle oh. when you're in charge of the technology. Ah, but we're gonna, I'm gonna still take her to training like once a week. They have group classes now. And uh, she'll learn more and get better even. This is sweet. This is minty too. I got this Deadpool. I'm trying to slowly get the last few Funko Pop Pez. Whenever I find them, I'll buy them if they're a good price. So this is a black mask with the red eyes and then the black stem. And this is a box lunch exclusive. Why don't, will this show up on the thing over here or not? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So this one is a little bit harder to find, but it's out there. Whenever they have the stickers on them, especially if they're from a store, like we didn't, we have a, well, we might have a box launch here. There's, is there actually a store called Box Launch? Yeah, it's like a Hot Topic, hmm. but without the hardcore stuff in it. It's more like just fandom stuff. I don't think, I've never been to a Hot Topic, but I see people go to them all the time. They sell all the fun stuff. <laughs> If you look online, you, you'll you see people go shop there. So that's pretty cool. I got this one. So I only, there's only a couple more left. I did find some of them online, but I'm waiting until I find even better deals, I think, on them. But because I think the Funko Pop Pez, some of them are a little overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> and I think. The fact that Funko collectors 
buy them and collect them as well as Pez collectors that makes them go up in value, but it seems like lately that the prices have came down a little bit. Just in my uh, observations. So Sid says he got three full sets in his space box. Lucky, lucky dog. Jim says, I need help with the new Pez this year, if if I will help you. I don't know what that means, Jim. Maybe, I don't think he's in the U.S. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, if you want to do some trading. Hey, Paul. Paul. Come over here. <gasps> Another one of these. Every time you get something from Dane, you get... Uh, Pez paper costume. I already have this one. <laughs> this is one of the little Pez paper costumes. And these are made by Stuart Cartwright. And he used to sell them at Pez conventions. This one's from the Minnesota Pez Con. 1996? It's a long time ago. <laughs> So excited for these. Should we just put them on the spinner? It's up to you. <laughs> Show them all at once. Uh -huh. I've been wanting these for a long time, and these don't come up for sale hardly, very rarely. And they're a little expensive, but they're not too bad. Or like something something this rare. I should have looked up some details on these, but I talk about these in my pumpkin video. I have a oh here. You ready? Yeah, show them these. They're pumpkins. Oh, come on. They're crystal pumpkins and they're from the Lens Pez Gathering from October 2012. That's a long time ago. Okay. So, there used to be a gathering in Lens, Austria. And there used... I don't think she's around anymore, but there used to be Sylvia. And she used to run all the Lens Gatherings and come up with these crazy ideas for these crystal Pez. So this was, you know, 2020. 2012's version and it's the crystal pumpkins but she's also responsible for doing like the crystal canines so how much were these green do you remember i don't remember a couple hundred dollars for all of them or 300 do you want me to look well i'm just gonna give a I price honestly, I do not i'm remember. gonna break down the price and the rarity of these because so yes you want me to look um so these i mean there's not i don't remember how many were made but, I mean, it's a low run of them because they make them for these... 150 a piece. Oh, 150 each. So they make them for these uh, Pez gatherings. And, you know, if you would have bought these in 2012, I'm sure it would have been like $100 for all of them or something like that. But, you know, like, she was responsible for those crystal canines that are so desirable by a lot of collectors because there's not a whole lot of sets of those. And those go for you know anywhere from like eight hundred to a thousand dollars. I see them sell for. Oh, we paid three fifty for those because we bought all of the stuff. Oh, uh, so a little less. A little less than that. Yeah, so three fifty for all three of these. So and these don't come up for sale very often. They are around if you keep an eye out. But that's super cool. Super super cool. All right, John's here. <laughs> Hey, John. Welcome. Hey. It's totally fine. You can come you anytime should, you, you want. You should say, like, I was working in the Pez room and I lost track of time. That would be more fun story. But it's not reality. <laughs> Maybe he has Pez in his attic ring. I'm sure he has Pez everywhere. <laughs> okay. Next. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. 
Okay, next. I'm reading the comment. I'll put it up there if, you, if it's worth reading. So these are cool, and I'm pretty excited to get these. Probably, Greg's probably not excited at all to get these, but you know. So Allie is is uh, dialing in on your foreshadowing. Are these crystals that might be in your new Pez favorites? Not not this one, but these are these are very nice. I haven't shown it yet. There's still another. There's still two more in the box. Okay, what's this one? Ready? Uh, oh come on! Focus. This is the. Is it? Is that Finland? Finland uh, Pez Gathering Santa. And I don't know what year this is, but it's probably around the same time as these pumpkins, 2012, 2014 or so. I do have the Finn Duck. Remember when we got the. Mm -hmm. So that's the same convention. This guy was $200. 200 Yeah. That's pretty fair. Um, these, this Santa comes up for sale more often probably than these pumpkins, but still pretty rare. They make such low runs of them. And then, you know, not everybody wants to buy newer Pez for a couple hundred dollars, so. Yeah. <laughs> It falls in that category, I think. And then this... Well, this... hang on. Let me put this up. Congrats, Aaron, on 1.5 thousand views oh. on your 2024 Pets video that you posted last week. Loved it. Check it out if anyone hasn't. Thanks, Peppermint Pet. That uh, that video uh, was uh, a couple months in the making because it's already March. <laughs> yeah. And it was super fun to make. It's So she's talking about the... The video, I guess on Tuesday I released it, and it's the video showing all the Pez that we're going to be getting here this year in 2024. At least the known ones, because there's always ones that Pez is like, hey, surprise, we got this new Pez, or we don't know all the holiday limited editions. Roxy's so cute. So that video was a lot of fun to make, and very detailed. So if you want to see what Pez is putting out this year for new Pez, you know, I don't work for Pez. I don't talk to Pez. No one tells me anything. I just do a lot of research on stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh... it'd be nice if the marketing team in Pez could reach <laughs> out with some actual information. Yeah, that would be too easy, right? So this Santa, super cool, and that the like these are gonna look really great with like the fin duck and. There we go. Okay, <laughs> this one. Wait, hold on. Let me get it. Let me see if I can focus it before. Okay, should be good. This, this, this one. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> he was trying to fly away. <laughs> it's, uh, it says, this is the Madrid Pez Gathering. This is 2014. Wow. So, this thing never comes up for sale. Oh, look. This might be Red Microwave's new favorite Pez too, because it's a red ghost, but he's leaving, so he'll never know. He says he's going to come back. Uh, <laughs> so this ghost is super cool. And we recently, last Halloween, got the crystal ghost. And uh, uh, one time I saw this in a picture, and I put it in my like my wish, wish list page. And I didn't ever saw it. I've never seen it come up for sale. Every once in a while, like maybe once or twice I've seen it in pictures. Or maybe in someone's picture that, you know, is not a here USA collector, like a, someone that lives overseas. And so uh, I don't know anything about this. I should have looked it up. But um, there's, it's sure it's a really low number run and it's cool. Um, yeah. And then so Greg's... There's fit, There's only... Let's see. Do you have details on it? Oh, no. So we paid 250 bucks for it, though. Oh. Uh, that was totally worth it. Apparently, there's only 50 sets of the Lynn's Pumpkin. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Like, super low run. I would think that this ghost would be even more rare than the pumpkins, but... I guess it depends who, who wants to buy them and who wants them. But, I don't know, Greg was like, oh, check out this picture. 
do you want any of these crystal pears? I don't really, you'll have to look at these. I don't really care for the crystal pears. And then I'm like, get that ghost. I know. <laughs> like the only, the only even reason, like normally I would just skip over anything with feet. And, but the fact that, <laughs> that, that, you know, it was sent, you know, Dane sent it over to me and, you know, he, he knows what Aaron likes. Yeah. I appreciate it, Dane. <laughs> awesome like I got my hands full of vintage it, stuff it doesn't have where's the I want to I don't it doesn't have any sparkles in it but it's just uh yeah it's just red so there's no sparkles in any of these like nowadays Pez puts Pez puts the little glitter and the crystal Pez that we've been getting lately but it's just a red ghost and when I say crystal it's just plastic but we refer to them as Crystal because of the Pez Outlaw. Anagrams is doing work. Smash that like, folks. There's 33 people watching. Only seven likes. There's 35 people watching now. Sometimes uh, we doubled it in no, there's 10 more seconds. Likes. There's more thumbs ups because if you if you're on it, it doesn't always update it. I've noticed. So like right here. Well, they're looking at YouTube. There's 50, I see 16. Yeah, it's coming in. Oh, uh, but well, sometimes in. if you're on YouTube, it might not refresh that right uh. away. Oh. I've noticed that before. Okay, we have... Oh, yeah, don't show this one. It has a... Is this Pez? It's heavy. I have no idea. I mean, I didn't buy anything else. Okay. Well, you brought, bought stuff for the barbecue pit, but I don't... Oh, that's from Amazon, though. Oh. This looks like... I don't know, maybe... It's Pez. Just give me a minute here to open this. Roxy's like... Come on, guys. Why are you making so much noise? <laughs> this is in a punching bag box. Like someone's reusing another collectible item. Hey, where do I slice? How do I open this? I'm sure it opens from the top if it's a box, like for a punching bag. Ouch. I see some Pez candy. Oh, you know what? This is something I bought too. Ah, this was okay. This is a set, and I only needed one Pez out of it, but it was the cheapest one. <laughs> but we got lots of cool Pez, so that's fun. Is, this was heavy. Whenever you have Puzz candy in your package that you ship it, it always weighs a lot more. I don't, I guess I can show them all. Yeah. This is a Santa. This is not the newest Santa Puzz. Maybe a few years ago now. And. You didn't have that? Well, no, that's not. No. So I, when I get to it here. There's a Pez in here I bought this whole lot for, but it was way cheaper to buy this big lot versus... There wasn't that many on eBay either. Or maybe this might have been the only one. This uh, snowman. Nice. What was the one that you needed? I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh. This is... Do you not want to see the rest of them? I do. And... Oh, here's the other elf. Oh, this is the, we could put these on the spinner. This is an older elf. I have a whole video showing all the elves. If you want to learn more about the elf pez here on the channel. A lot of people ask me for variation videos. And, uh. Yeah. <laughs> here, this is, here, put it up there. This, ew, that one's wobbly. Yeah, or it has something on the bottom, maybe. Here. So that's the, that's the green, this elf is one, like the common one, the common, more common. This one is harder to get, but it's out there. I think they just didn't make it for as many years. I don't know. I'm sure I talk about it in the elf Pez video. It's hard to remember all this stuff. And then, uh, oh, a little, oh, I can use, I need, when I made the reindeer, and Santa sleigh, I could have used that reindeer, but I think I probably 
still use it. That's cute. Okay, and then two more. Oh, another one of these. Are you ever going to tell us which one you needed? Yep, right here. Okay. The last one. It's going to be worth the wait, Greg. What do you think it is? I have no idea. <laughs> that one. It's the correct size elf. <laughs> it's a little mini. Those ones in the back are buddy. There. Now you can see, oh, you can see all the elves together. Nice. Oh. Oh, it was totally worth it, by the way. It was <laughs> so worth it. <laughs> so I remember when I shot the elf video, was that last, this is past Christmas, I think I made the video. And I was like, oh, I don't have the green elf. And so I'm pretty sure I bought, I bought a, I bought, I'm pretty sure I bought these on eBay already. And the little one here comes, if you, if you were to look for this and you see it in a package, it comes in the little ball. So it was like a little ornament type ball. And then, so this one is like the hardest one to get out of both of these, but they're out there. You'll find them. Paul says the snowman has two scarves, a red and an orange. Oh, yeah. Which snowman? This one here. Do I have a snow? Do I have a snow? Oh, I do have a snowman video. Wait. I think so. I think I made it like the year before last. Wait, there's this snowman too. Wait, it looks this more one. Like a classic snowman. I don't remember. This one comes in crystal too. I have that. So. This is this is all stuff that like you bought pretty much. Wait, did you buy? Oh, you picked that. I picked them. Yeah, okay, no, I didn't. Wait, there's one more box over here. For some reason it's like over here on the side. Well, this, the Deadpool one, I bought this. That took a while to get here. It might have came, you know, last Saturday. Oh, I think my my ombre bunny is out for delivery today. Oh, well, we'll get that next week then. Yeah, but I might open it for a video. Because Easter will be, oh, wait, is next week in Easter? Oh, yeah, it's a short week next week. Are we doing a live stream sometime soon? I don't see why not. Hopefully everybody can join us next week. What do you think it is? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. We didn't get any Caspers or Whistles this week. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe this is a Casper or Whistle. Let's see. She's eyeing up these. Oh, no, you, this is something you bought. Yes. Finally. But oh, it's something yeah. I like. It's okay. Man, next week I have some really good stuff coming in. I might have to spread it out. Because <laughs> it's too good. It's too good for one week. Too good. It's too good for one week this on the live stream. Is a... this, this is cool. I need to compare this. I know. Oh, you know what? It's very, Wait. very good. It's so good. It's this... real good. This is I'm trying to lick my nose. Oh, is... come on. Ugh, got me. Are you guys, are you guys done there? <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> this is a Bugs Bunny Puzz. But it's in... So it's in this bag. But you got you, that box set here. Wait, here. Do you want the blanket? No, she's good. The box set... I don't know if I bring this over there or not. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Oh, these are different candies. Okay, wait. And then I have this one. Yeah, those are new candy sets in look, the one Oh, look, spot. we don't have this. Yeah. This is really cool. So this is... This... So this is Bugs Bunny. Yeah, that's the older uh, like how, star candy. Yeah, see how it has... Uh, I don't want to be careful with this one. So that has the star candy. But this one we just got... Has, still not the newest candy. No. But it's like the in-between. And it's in... The cello is like a newer cello too. Like it's not so... Brittle. Brittle. And then this whole box set though... 
that we have. Oh my gosh. Look, it has. Wait, did you ever notice this? Look, the the Pez inside. So that this is the this is like a giant box set. Oh my gosh, I don't like taking. I don't. These come. I'm not gonna take it out. They have the star candy in there, but look, the whole box set has these candies. Mm -hmm. They're different. Yeah, that's interesting. And then that's what. That's what's in the this one that we just got. Did this come did this come with it originally? I guess so. I don't really know. They may have switched over to the new candies or or maybe that was just the maybe that was added to the box because it was missing it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then oh yeah, we don't have I have this bug bunny too. Wait. This is so this is like this is more like the the yellow one we just got with this candy, but this one has an insert in it that says uh, bonus special offer, special yeah, bonus that, offer. These other two and don't this, have inserts. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I don't know. I have a lot of Bugs Bunny pets because the Bugs Bunny, not this one, but the one with feet was one that started my collection. So I usually like to get a lot of variations. <laughs> It was, it's a, it's a fun one to collect. You can, uh, it's, it's like, uh, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny's been around long enough that there's lots of, like, vintage variations with it, but not long enough to make it super expensive, I guess. It's well, super, it's like, super hard to like find. It's too common. It's yeah. Like they made, they made them by a hundred. Yeah, maybe that, yeah. So this is the one we just got. That's super cool. So I would like that. Put it in. I probably would have passed this up though because I look. I would look at it and go, oh, "I already have that," but it has different candy. I don't pass and different up. Whis the whiskers and stuff are painted a little darker, but thick. Where you going? Hmm? Where do you think you're going? But it's pretty cool how. It must have been like really soon. Like they probably made these for yeah, like so many years, like you said. But then mm -hmm. they go from one candy to the other. Pretty cool. That's it. I'm That's it. I mean, We've done it. Like a lot of really cool stuff today. We have done it. We've done it again. I don't know. Every week I'm like. Would you look at that? We've done it again. <laughs> every week I'm like, like this is like. The most cool stuff we got and then like next week goes by and like this is like the most cool stuff that we got like we got some really cool stuff last week oh i still haven't cleaned i was gonna work on this i still haven't cleaned up the goofy i want to maybe maybe we'll work on that tomorrow yeah tomorrow i'm not doing anything today because uh and then yeah. also i was looking do we have a donor roxy do we have a donor goofy to even use yeah we have something. And our Goofies that we have, I think, are nice. And then I was looking on eBay. I was like, do we need to just buy another? There's some junky Goofies on there. Yeah, I mean, there's millions of junk, junky goose so, Goofies. I don't know. The Goofy we got last week. So I need to clean that up. And needs a needs a tooth and a ear. <laughs> Either that or he looks like he just got into a fight. That's right. These Ninja Turtles are beating me up here. Yeah, the Crystal Ghost is the best one for today. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's wrap it up. We got a party to clean the house for. It's already clean. It's fine. <laughs> and uh, so look forward this week to two new videos. I'll put out a video Tuesday and then Thursday here on the channel. And uh, one of them is probably going to be the new ombre Easter Bunny Pez. So if you want to see that up close and my unboxing of that, that's always a fun, I always like getting the new limited edition Pez and making those videos. So look forward to that. And I'll compare it to the older bunnies that we have already because that's not a new mold. So 
I'll make a little comparison in there so you can see it. So if you don't have any of those bunnies, you'll be able to see them. Did it make it into the top ten? The ghost? The ghost. Yes. Yes? Yes. Probably right underneath my, uh, my, like, I like the long beak raven a lot. And I like this pink pony that sits back here a lot. And then up there, yes. <laughs> Oh, and my Barney bear. I don't know. I got a lot of really cool, uh, it's definitely probably in the top 10. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to wait for next year and I'll revamp my top 10. <laughs> well, that was, I could make a top 10 Pez, top 10 Pez of all time because the last video I made was top 10 Pez we bought in 2023 video. Oh yeah. So I could do like my top 10 favorite Pez of all time that I have in my collection or something. Uh, Yes. John, since John mentioned the pink pony, I have to grab it. The pink pony. It's awesome. It's so cool. I love the vintage Pez. Yeah. The pink ones. We've been working on ponies, but it's really challenging. <laughs> they're hard to find and they're really expensive. And it's hard to know if they're legit. Yeah. Or it's hard to, the like rain or the, or the mane might not be, you know, mint. But this thing is like. Looks like just came out of the package mint. Like mm -hmm. it's clean. It's really nice. Not like the goofy that looks like he just came home from a fight. That's right. Or he, or Working he at was, the coal mine. Either that, yeah, or he was, <laughs> <laughs> or he was playing in the sandbox. <laughs> and then uh, I think that's it. Anything else? Nope. Peppermint Pat says she wants a turtle video. Ah, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I'll make something for the turtles here now that I have them. I was just going to say, if anybody ever has any Pez that they want me to make, you know, like a variation video, let me know because there's lots of Pez and I usually just pick ones I want to talk about. But if there's anything that you want to see or learn about, let me know. <laughs> Shep's mom says hi. Hey. Hi, Shep's mom. <laughs> i have to go check out your channel here. At least Pez is a wholesome collectible, you know? Like, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, that's what, yeah. The whole family can collect. Okay. Well, thanks right. for watching, everybody. What time is it? Ooh. Yeah, Paul says goodbye to you and the ghost. Ah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See everybody next Saturday as well for the live stream, even though it's Easter. Easter weekend. Weekend. But we'll, it's not Sunday. so Yeah, we'll be here. Yeah, at least it's Saturday. Yeah, we'll get on for some time, especially if Greg says we got some really cool stuff. Coming. We'll have to decide what I want to open. Okay. So I might have to split it between two. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. See ya. Thanks, everybody.